Okay, so are styes contagious? Styes are not infectious. Contrary to popular belief, a sty is not contagious and will not spread from one eyelid to another by direct or indirect contact. People often form the opinion that styes are contagious because styes often reappear in the same eye or the opposite eye. But styes are not transmittable. They are not able to be passed from one eye to another or from one person to another. So what causes recurring styes? When a sty happens again, it's usually because of an imbalance in the tear composition. Tears have three distinct layers, water, oil, and mucus. If there is a disruption in the tear production, the surface of the eyes can dry out. When the eyes lose moisture, the oil glands often become inflamed and prone to styes, especially if you rub the eyelids. There are approximately 25 oil glands in the bottom eyelids and 50 glands in the upper eyelids. Usually, if one gland is dysfunctional, others or all of the glands may not be operating properly. When there are several glands working improperly, there is a good chance another sty will return. Now, looking at this Im image under a magnified view, we can see how several glands have become blocked when the conditions are right. Now, this doesn't mean that all the blocked glands will become styes, but there is a really good possibility that two or more styes could form over a period of time. So what causes an imbalance in the tear composition? The lack of proportion in the tear mixture can be caused for many reasons, such as hormonal imbalances, prolonged viewing of a computer screen, nutrition, and extreme stress. For example, prolonged viewing of a digital display can cause a dry eye condition. This occurs because people who view a computer monitor blink less, allowing for the tears to evaporate and dry out the eye. So how to prevent a sty from coming back again? There are two effective ways to keep a sty from returning and to eliminate any current styes. The best way to prevent styes from repeating is by treating it with medication. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a specific sty medication that works well, but there is a cheap medicine that is designed for other purposes that has a very positive side effect in that it can eliminate a sty within 24 to 48 hours depending on how advanced the sty is. To get more information on the medicine, visit www.stiestreatment.com. That's S-T-Y-E-S treatment.com for the name of the drug and more information about it. The great thing about the medicine is it can prevent styes from appearing again and completely get rid of a sty that is already present. Use a warm compress. A warm compress is the second best way to get rid of a sty. However, a warm compress can also cause a sty to reoccur. As we mentioned before, when the oil glands become dysfunctional, they can become aggravated easily. For example, if you were to rub your eyelid or apply too much pressure on the surface of the eyelid with the warm compress, it can cause the oil gland to become blocked, thus causing a new sty. Always treat a sty with the medication and a warm compress to eliminate any current styes and to prevent new styes from developing. Because if you don't, the sty can turn into a chalazion. And if the sty turns into a chalazion, you could be stuck with it for a year or longer, or until it is surgically removed. So to sum it up, styes are not infectious. If you have a sty that occurs again, periodically or repeatedly, it's a good indication of an imbalance in the tear composition and not because the sty is contagious.